Lviv Tech City, on the outside, a normal office park. Inside, workers are preparing this structure for war. The bomb shelter is located in the parking garage. Lviv's chief architect explains which features make this shelter state-of-the-art and why he wants every new building in the city to have the same. We understood since the start of the war that it's about basic things. It's about the possibility when building uh, collapsed to stay and wait for the rescue. That's why we need the fresh water. It's sometimes cold inside the uh, parking, which is uh, at the bombing shelter at the same time. So uh, it's impossible in the February to spend here a few hours during minus 20 degrees Celsius outside. That's why we need a separated room with the heating. Heating, fresh water, food supplies, bathrooms with toilets and showers for those upstairs in case of an attack, and all this handicap accessible. That's what Lviv's new building codes call for. We are ready for, for the next context. We should be ready for the next context with this kind of uh, neighbor we have. Uh, let's say in a few years, maybe in 10 years, nobody knows. A grim reality is being written into Lviv's architecture, okay. that for the foreseeable future, Ukraine will have to defend its right to exist. When construction started on this building about two years ago, it was built to be one of the safest buildings in the country, with one of the most modern bomb shelters, safe from any attacks from the sky and the eventuality of a war. But the architects didn't realize how soon their design would be put into practice. Even as the work is completed, families displaced from eastern Ukraine have taken up temporary residence here. It may lack the creature comforts of a home, but this modern bomb shelter has what it takes to sustain life, a priority for a country at war.